It's Thursday, which means it's Spirit Day, brought to you by Lima Ma Restaurant and Cocktail Bar on East State Street in downtown Rockford. Carrie and Dana are here. We're getting ready for Art and Fashion in Bloom. So excited. This is one of the most beautiful things the Art Museum does. I don't think you can argue with that, right? No. Flowers <laughs> and art. That's pretty great. Sense. We're also making a floral cocktail. We just got a shout out to Tamanique for the ice cubes she made with roses in them, which I already suggested you guys should do something like that for, for this big we'll event. Steal that idea. Yeah. yeah. So let's make the drink first. It's called um, Windsor Gardens. Which one of you wants to be the uh, cocktail shaker? I'll shake. Okay. <laughs> got some ice in there. Okay. Um, we need six ounces of gin. Which is that? <laughs> I sniffed a little too hard. I figured it was that, but I just wanted to make sure. Then we have one and a half ounces of lemon juice. Okay. And I'm gonna try to measure this. One and a half there. That looks like one and a half. This is simple syrup, and that's it. Okay. Oh, that's actually very simple. You want to shake it? I'll shake it. All right. So, oh yeah. This is a beautiful drink to talk about a beautiful uh, couple days, not just one day. So tell me a little bit about Art and Bloom and then when fashion kind of pops up. So Art and Bloom, uh, this is our eighth year doing it. Yeah. So we're, we feel like we're professionals at this now. But no, yes, on. please. Speaking of, I'm a professional <laughs> at this. I, I can think. always shake, but I can't open there it back up. <laughs> it's not easy. Okay, got it. Awesome. You want to pour it too? Sure. Okay. All right. So eighth year of Art and Blue. Yep. So okay. we take uh, pieces from Rockford Art Museum's permanent collection. So this year we've got 20. Okay. And we get 20 floral designers or 15 or how many want to do it and how many designs. And they take inspiration from a piece of artwork and they create these beautiful floral sculptures. And so they're on view for a few days because obviously they're live yeah. products, so they don't last forever. But it's just a great way for us to see a different side of creativity with floral designers and the, the artistic it's so creativity cool. that comes out of them. So, and it's a great way to promote our permanent collection too, sure. to the beauty in our permanent collection. We got a chance, last year was the first year that I got to check out the art and I was just like mesmerized every corner you turn. And because they're kind of turning the artwork into life some of those art pieces are big but some are smaller and mm. so the floral version yes. is bigger and like kind of takes over exactly in a pretty cool way. exactly so we're excited this year too because it's at the union mm -hmm. it's not at the art museum <laughs> right now but um, that's okay but it's gonna it's gonna transform that space yeah mm -hmm. so we're probably gonna do a little bit smaller pieces because we don't have those huge walls like we do in the museum but It'd be interesting to see how it just it transforms that space yeah. into a gallery. It's going to be in the big upstairs room. Yep, yeah, you okay. got it. Cool. Yeah. And Fashion and Bloom is part of this. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. So Fashion and Bloom is an amazing fashion show that we um, I'm co-chair of the committee, and this year is going to be interesting because we're going to be introducing organic matter into mm -hmm. the show versus just all floral. So it'll be really exciting, and we'll also have some looks from B. Jones as well that will intermingle into our fashion show. So what's an example of organic matter? Because I don't know what it means. Oranges. Oh, yeah. mushroom, cool. mushroom sticks. So like food. Yes. Yes. Everything that's outside. Yes. Oh my gosh, so fun. Yes. Yep. Those things are also not going to last very long. <laughs> right, no, they won't. But, you know, we've gotten some tricks, and I've heard you use a lot of shellac exactly. to make it last. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. yeah, that would be really cool. So the preview party is June 12th for the Art in Bloom. Can everybody come to that? Or is that like by invite only? No, that's open to anybody. So we've okay. got tickets for sale on our website, and that's fifty-five dollars. Okay. And that's a great way to come in, meet the designers. The floral designers are always there. See a preview of what is to come for the yeah. public. But that is a, anybody can come to okay. that. So and it's then Fashion definitely. Blooms Friday night, the fourteenth. Right? Correct. And yep. those tickets are a hundred dollars. Awesome. Tamanique is going to be modeling. Yes, she again. Is. We don't know if she's wearing mushrooms or oranges. <laughs> I am sure nobody Maybe knows both. just yet. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see. We gotta try these drinks. They're okay. so pretty. So grab yours. Cheers to Cheers. your yes. successful Cheers. event. We're gonna say it's Thank great. you. This is actually very mm. good. You know, gin is, is always a surprise. It is. Gin is a good summer drink. It is. Yep. It is. It's delicious. It's good. As long as you yep. put some fruit in there. Yeah. yeah. Lemons. Yeah. Very good. good. Yeah. All right. So make sure you check out the Rockford Art Museum website <laughs> to get tickets for all of these events. And like we said, it's coming up uh, June 12th is when the preview party is. And the Fashion Bloom is June 14th. Thank you so much for coming in, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with a new What's Buzzing after producer Sydney's Weekend Planner. Pretty good. Sure.